His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the UAE President His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan met at his residence in Abu Dhabi. His Majesty the King and His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed reviewed the deep-rooted and solid Bahraini-UAE relations, stressing their shared keenness to further strengthen the two countries' ties. In a way that serves the common interests, the two leaders expressed their pride in the robust brotherly relations between the two countries, which are growing steadily thanks to their high-level joint fruitful cooperation and the coordination at all levels. They wish the two countries and their people further progress and prosperity. His Majesty the King and the UAE President also discussed the latest regional and global developments and exchanged points of view regarding them. His Majesty the King's speech during his participation in the Cairo Peace Summit focused on the importance of the brotherly Palestinian people's establishment of their independent sovereign state on the borders of June 4, 1967. More in this report. Containing the humanitarian crisis and stopping the escalation in the Gaza Strip are important messages sent by His Majesty the King during his address before the Cairo Peace Summit, in which he renewed the Kingdom of Bahrain's firm stance in support of the legitimate rights of the brotherly Palestinian people to establish their independent sovereign state on the 1967 borders with East Jerusalem as its capital. His Majesty the King called for the establishment of a Palestinian state living at peace alongside Israel based on United Nations resolutions and in accordance with the terms of reference of the Madrid Peace Conference, the Roadmap, the Arab Peace Initiative and the relevant resolutions that called for finding a lasting peaceful solution to the Palestinian cause. His Majesty stressed that peace in the Middle East is the only sustainable option, affirming that the two-state solution is the true guarantee of coexistence between the Palestinian and Israeli peoples in order to maintain the stability of the region. The Kingdom of Bahrain always calls for securing the legitimate rights of the brotherly Palestinian people. International forums are the best witness to its stances through the Kingdom's support and emphasis on the need for the international community to redouble its efforts to alleviate the suffering of the Palestinian people and continue diplomatic work between all regional and global parties to reach a comprehensive and fair settlement. During the Cairo Peace Summit, leaders of states and heads of delegations for more than 30 countries, along with representatives of a number of international organizations, said that achieving peace on the Palestinian territories lies in the two-state solution, through the establishment of a Palestinian state with East Jerusalem as its capital. More in this report. The rapid event the Gaza Strip is experiencing, which has been under siege for two weeks, were the main reason behind the meeting of leaders of countries and heads of delegations of more than 30 countries, along with representatives of a number of international organizations at the Cairo Peace Summit. The summit discussed the developments and future of the Palestinian cause. In light of the continuous military operations in the Gaza Strip, a number of speakers indicated that what the region is witnessing came as a result of not granting the Palestinian right to establish its state with East Jerusalem as its capital. Regarding the displacement of the Palestinian people, the president of Cyprus praised the Egyptian-Jordanian position regarding stopping the displacement of Palestinians. The Prime Minister of Iraq expressed his country's rejection of attempts at displacement as a result of the Israeli bombing. In light of the difficult humanitarian conditions experienced by the people of Gaza, the United Nations Secretary General called for overcoming the difficulties through the Rafah crossing to bring in aid. The participants stressed the necessity of protecting children and civilians as a result of the ongoing escalation. In this regard, the heads of governments and foreign ministers called for adherence to the Oslo Accords, noting their refusal to destroy infrastructure, especially health facilities. At the conclusion of their speeches, the participants stressed the necessity of stopping military attacks to achieve peace for Palestine. His Royal Highness, the Deputy King, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Qadaybiya Palace. The cabinet affirmed Bahrain's stance, led by His Majesty the King, King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, on supporting diplomatic and peaceful resolutions of conflicts to promote coexistence, security, development, and prosperity for all the people of the region. The cabinet also affirmed the kingdom's commitment to supporting alliances that enhances stability and serves development goals reiterated by His Majesty the King during his address at the GCC and the Association of Southeast Asian Nations ASEAN Summit held by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, the Cairo Peace Summit held by Egypt, and during His Majesty the King's meetings with His Majesty 
King Charles III of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland and head of the Commonwealth, senior members of the UK government, His Holiness Pope Francis, Pope of the Catholic Church, the President of Italy, Sergio Mattarella, and the Prime Minister of Italy, Giorgia Meloni. The cabinet reiterated its stance on supporting Palestinians' right to an independent state with East Jerusalem as its capital. The cabinet commended His Majesty the King's directives to provide urgent humanitarian relief aid to the Palestinian people. The cabinet further expressed their gratitude to His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, for sponsoring the national campaign Day of Solidarity with our people in Gaza. We are with you. And to the Royal Humanitarian Foundation for organizing the campaign. The cabinet also commended the efforts of the Bahraini citizens for their swift response to the campaign. To mark the United Nations Day, the cabinet highlighted the importance of the United Nations principles and values. The Cabinet discussed and approved several memorandums during the meeting. A memorandum submitted by the Government Executive Committee regarding developments in the labour market registration system. A memorandum submitted by the Government Executive Committee on the Sixth National Telecommunications Plan, which aims to support Bahrain in creating smart cities, developing the economy, promoting innovation and maintaining competitiveness through 30 initiatives implemented across six main axes. A memorandum submitted by the Minister of Foreign Affairs regarding the Kingdom's mechanism for external participation in regional and international meetings, committees and conferences. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Physical Balance regarding Bahrain's contributions and participation in global conferences. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs on a draft decision amending Article 2 of the decision regarding the establishment of the National Human Rights Committee. A memorandum submitted by the Minister of Housing and Urban Planning on the Tubli Bay Reserve. The Cabinet then reviewed a memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Community Services on the Kingdom's Labour Market Indicators through to the end of the third quarter of 2023. The Cabinet extended its gratitude and appreciation to all private sector companies and institutions that contributed to the employment of Bahrainis during the year 2023. In addition, the Cabinet re reviewed and noted the following ministerial reports. The outcome of the extraordinary session of the GCC Ministerial Council. The outcome of the extraordinary open-ended meeting of the OIC Executive Committee at the level of foreign ministers. The Kingdom's participation in the MENA CW 2023. The outcomes of the Kingdom's participation in the 33rd meeting of the GC Ministers of Justice. The Kingdom's participation in the 39th session of the Arab Justice Ministers Council. The outcomes of the Minister of Information's visit to Saudi Arabia. His Royal Highness the Deputy King, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the newly appointed President of the Arabian Gulf University, Dr. Saad bin Saud Al Fahid, at Galibia Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of the higher education institutions in developing the Kingdom's workforce and supporting Bahrainis to contribute to the progress and development. His Royal Highness the Deputy King noted the importance of keeping pace with the latest educational tools to support creativity and innovation and consolidating scientific research across educational work streams to ensure citizens contributions to Bahrain's wide-ranging development goals. His Royal Highness expressed his best wishes to Dr. Saad in performing his duties to achieve the university's aspirations and wished the university success in pursuing its goals and aspirations. His Royal Highness also commended its contributions to the scientific research and the GCC's health sector by developing specialized medical professions and personnel. For his part, Dr. Fahid 
expressed his gratitude for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness and for his support to the university and its educational role. Dr. al Fayed further wished the Kingdom of Bahrain progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Deputy King recalled the efforts of the former president of the Arabian Gulf University, the late Dr. Khaled Abdurrahman al ohali in furthering the university's overall progress. The Deputy Prime Minister, Sheikh Khaled bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Education, Dr. Muhammad bin Mubarak Juma, also attended the meeting. In implementation of the directives of His Majesty the King and under the patronage of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the National Committee launched the first Bahraini shipment of aid to the people of Gaza in the presence of the members of the Bahrain National Committee for supporting the Palestinian people in Gaza. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad affirmed that the launch of the first Bahraini aid shipment to the people of Gaza embodies the interests and support of His Majesty, the Honorary President of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, and His Majesty's humanitarian initiatives towards our brothers, which reflect the firm and clear position towards the just Palestinian cause and the brotherly Palestinian people, expressing thanks and appreciation and gratitude to His Majesty the King and said the Royal Humanitarian Foundation has the honor to implement the directives of His Majesty. His Highness praised the great support that the Foundation receives from the government headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and its keenness to further provide full support in various campaigns. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad stressed that the Kingdom of Bahrain stands alongside the Palestinian people in Gaza to help them in their ordeal and to alleviate the painful affliction during the difficult humanitarian conditions they are experiencing as a result of the ongoing war in Gaza. His Highness said that the Bahraini National Committee to support the Palestinian people in Gaza prepared a shipment of urgent relief aid in implementation of His Majesty the King's directives asking the Almighty Allah to have mercy on their martyrs and grant recovery to all the wounded and the injured. Bahrain's parliamentary division participated in the consultative meeting of the Councils of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, OIC, member states, which was held in Luanda, Angola. On the sidelines of the 147th General Assembly of the Inter-Parliamentary Union, the heads of parliaments and representatives of the OIC member states supported the emergency item presented by Kuwait and Algeria regarding stopping the war on Gaza and stopping humanitarian rights violation after the representatives of the Pakistan agreed to withdraw the emergency item submitted by them. Bahrain's parliamentary division affirmed that the pillars and foundations of Bahrain's parliamentary diplomacy contributed to consolidating relations between all parliaments, which affirms the pivotal role of parliaments in enacting legislation and laws that support government's efforts in achieving development goals. Upon the directives of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to create promising youth leaders, the Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Ayman Al Mu'ayyad, the Minister of Youth Affairs, Rawan Tawfiqi, and the Minister of Information, Dr. Ramzan Al Naimi, witnessed the signing of a partnership agreement between the Lama Authority, the Institute of Public Administration, Babco Energies, and the Kuwait Finance House to support the national project LAMA. The participants in the current program will witness a different version where the youth leaders will be subjected to more challenges that reveal their intellect, personality, and talent abilities in exceptional circumstances and potentials. The King of Norway, His Majesty King Harald V, received at the Royal Palace in the Norwegian capital, Oslo, the credentials of the Ambassador of Bahrain to Norway, Abdullah Abdullatif Abdullah, residing in Berlin, Germany. The Ambassador conveyed to the Norwegian monarch the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and their best wishes to the Norwegian monarch of abundant health and happiness 
and of progress and prosperity to Norway. The ambassador stressed the importance of strengthening the bilateral cooperation at all levels. For his part, the Norwegian monarch asked the ambassador to convey his greetings to His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, wishing Bahrain further growth and prosperity and the ambassador's success in his duties. The inspection campaigns of the Ministry of Industry and Commerce continues in various governorates to monitor the violations, address them, and implement the law with complete transparency. Through these campaigns, which proceed according to a strategic plan, the Inspection Directorate ensures the speed and effectiveness of performance in oversight tasks. The Minister also is keen on strengthening its supervisory tools through an integrated package of procedures and intensifying field visits to verify the implementation of laws and regulations which support promising sectors. Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince and Prime Minister His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud received at Al Yamama Palace in Riyadh the President of Korea, Yoon Suk Yol. His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed and the President of Korea held an extensive meeting and a session of official talks. During the meeting, both sides conducted a comprehensive review of their relations and examined collaborative efforts aimed at enhancing cooperation in various sectors and explored the opportunity to utilize the available resources in both countries to achieve mutual benefits. Several bilateral agreements and memoranda of understanding between the two countries were signed. The Public Investment Fund and Hyundai Motor Company have announced the signing of a joint venture agreement to establish a highly automated vehicle manufacturing facility in Saudi Arabia. PIF will hold a 70% stake in the new joint venture with Hyundai holding the remaining 30%. Hyundai will also act as a strategic technology partner to support the development of the new manufacturing plant by providing technical and commercial assistance. The total investment of the project is estimated to exceed 500 million US dollars. The joint venture aims to manufacture 50,000 vehicles per year, including both internal combustion engines and electric vehicles. The planned groundbreaking is planned for 2024 and production is expected to begin in 2026. The active participation of citizens and residents of the United Arab Emirates continues within the Compassion for Gaza campaign, which embodies the establishment of values of the UAE community, its humanitarian solidarity with the affected Palestinian people in the Gaza Strip, and its support for other official efforts in this regard. 10,100 volunteers participated in the campaign and contributed to preparing 25,000 relief packages over the past two days through activities organized in Abu Dhabi, Dubai and Sharjah, collecting more than 550 tons of relief material. 120 tons were sent to the city of Al Arish in the Arab Republic of Egypt in cooperation with the World Bank food program. To be brought into the Gaza Strip, it includes nutritional needs and the special needs of children and mothers. A large number of visitors flocked to Prince Sultan bin Salman Park in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia due to its distinguished location on one of the peaks of the Sarawat Mountains in the Al Baha region. The park also contains 33 seating areas, 80 trees in addition to a prayer room for men and women, children's play areas and parking spaces. The park is considered one of the prominent tourist sites in the region and is a destination for residents and visitors who love to enjoy nature. The park sits on a 13,000 square meter plot of land with plenty of greenery and variety of trees with many entertainment elements.